So a few days ago, I uh, reorganized and cleaned out my cupboards, and I noticed there were a couple things that were overabundant. Uh, one, raisins. So I had like three open bags of raisins. Two, I had a lot of flour, um, particularly a lot of gluten-free flour. Last year, I was doing a lot of experiments with gluten-free flours and a lot of gluten-free baking. So I had those two things. So I had to look around and see what I could make. Uh, cookies, obviously, I didn't want that much butter. Um, I could have done like a savory dish, like a salad or uh, chicken or something, but I didn't want to do that either. I think I wanted something a little bit more breakfasty that I could snack on the go. You guys know me, me and my snacks. So I decided on this applesauce uh, raisin loaf. And luckily I had everything in my cupboards for it. So stick around and let's get to it. So after cleaning out my cupboards this morning, I noticed that I had um, an abundance of two different things. Uh, Gluten-free baking flour and I had a crap load of raisins. Um, so I'm gonna make some applesauce bread because I have all the other ingredients that I need for it. Um, so I'm gonna make some um, raisin, cinnamon raisin bread essentially, uh, but I like a loaf and we'll see how it comes out. So what I have in this bowl here, this is my dry bowl. And in here I have a cup and a half of flour and it's a mixture of gluten-free and almond flour. Um, I have a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, uh, about two tables, two teaspoons, sorry, of cinnamon, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I put a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, uh, a cup of quick cooking oats, and uh, three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. In my wet, what I have in here is a cup and a quarter of applesauce, uh, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. I just used olive oil a half a cup of almond milk, and then two eggs, and then I'm just gonna whisk that together. So a lot of the times when I have a wet mixture like this, I'll just put everything in a one large measuring cup, and this is a four cup measuring cup, just so I can put everything in here and then pour it all in to my dry ingredients. So that's all done, and we're just gonna mix this and incorporate this together. And at this point, what I'm also gonna do is add in my raisins, of course. I can't miss, you can't forget those. So this calls for three quarters of a cup of raisins. Again, as I said, I had a lot of raisins on hand. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. Um, the recipe that I'm using does call to soak these in apple juice beforehand, but I'm not gonna do that. I think just to plump it up, but I think these are organic Thompson raisins, and I think they'll do just fine the way they are. So my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I have a prepared loaf pan as well. And that looks good there. So with my loaf pan, I do put parchment paper on it just so that the loaf is easy to come out. And then I'll actually spray it down as well with a little bit of cooking spray just so that it doesn't stick. So no. So this is going to bake in the oven for about 55 minutes and the house is going to start smelling wonderful. So wow, the loaf itself smells amazing. All I can smell is like apple and cinnamon and it is great to use up all of those uh, raisins and a great little loaf. Uh, if you don't like loaves, you can always do muffins. So you can put it in a muffin tin. They'll actually bake a little bit uh, quicker as well. So that's always a nice option to have. Um, so I would have probably done that because then I could have wrapped it and things like that. But, but 
the loaf is gonna be an amazing little fry up. Like I'm gonna just kind of bake it or like fry it in a frying pan with lots of butter. And I think it's gonna go excellent with my breakfast in the next couple days. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. Even if you didn't, leave a comment below, but hit subscribe, you can get more recipes like this. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Eat well, work hard, and seize wellness. I'll see you in the next one.